I'm going to give you a very unique hands-on, but yet hands-off presentation. Leon Theron. He was born in 1896, and at that time, the only radio messages being sent were using Morse code. It is excited by the electricity in your body. The antennas and the field around here are excited by my presence. By far, this has been the most historically accurate and best demonstration of theremin that I have ever witnessed in my entire life. Put that in your head. That image going on here, that's how the theremin works. I would say it's just kind of unique, whether you're into music or not, it's just kind of a cool museum-esque thing to behold, like a science-y type thing. Ed's assessment was just wonderful. I didn't know that the theremin had so much range and was capable so much melodically. The presentation was definitely fun, interesting, never boring for a single moment. It was a blast. It's cool to see that live. It's very bizarre to see it played without any hand motions. I'm glad there's somebody trying to bring some light to it and make people curious and interested about it. I was very excited to see the Day the Earth Stood Still theme and the Mars Attacks theme, which I know uh, from watching them many times. Amazing. Even though there's no tactile input, you're in the air. The closer you get to the antenna, the more subtle your finger work is. I enjoy his performances, and it was beautiful. Yeah, it was hard not to cry. But now come up and have a hands-on, hands-off experience. Oh, I'm so glad that I have the opportunity to play the theremin here. I think everybody had fun. I think everyone's enjoying the interactive component of it, too. It is one of the hardest instruments to play, and I do have a theremin at home and I've been trying to teach myself how to play for over two years now. I did try to play it. I'm seriously considering buying a theremin because it's really a lot of fun. I recommend it to everybody. Well, that's all.